What's going on everybody? It's me Stock Picks by Tim and in this video I want to look over ChargePoint stock or CHPT. I do have an article to go over. We're going to see what the analysts think and there is an analyst that's the cream of the crop that actually has a very lofty price target. We're going to look into that and we're also going to see what's going on on the chart and some things to be aware of. So let's get into this. Like the buttons, check out the links down below and let's look at CHPT. I will leave this down below, but simply Wall Street believes that charge point shares could be 36% below their intrinsic value. And there's a lot of math here, but essentially they got the present value of a 10 year cash flow of 955 million. But there's a lot more nuance to this article, but essentially they see fair value at $16. And with our current price of about 1027, it indicates we're about 36% undervalued according to their analysis. And they also have a SWOT analysis or strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Now the strength is debt is well covered by earnings. Keep in mind currently this company isn't making earnings. This is based on a 10 year assumption. So it could be drastically off depending on how they do in the future. One weakness they see is shareholders have been diluted in the past year. As for opportunities, they are forecast to reduce losses next year and they are trading below their estimate of fair value by more than 20%. Now as for a threat, the debt is not well covered by their operating cash flow. And they do have less than three years according to this article of cash runway based on their current free cash flow. And this cash runway includes revenue that they're going to be making over the years, as well as their current balance sheet, which they do have a pretty decent balance sheet, a lot more cash than debt. And before I check out the chart, I did want to show you what the analysts think. And we do have a $17 12 month price target. Maybe there's a coincidence here. According to that last article, charge point is undervalued and is a fair value right around 16 and analysts see it as about a $17 price target. Now I did want to go down to the analysts actually and show you that many of these are very low ranked analysts. However, the analyst with one of the highest price targets, $26 price target by Oppenheimer, is this Colin Rush. He has a 57% success rate, an average return of 46.3%, and he did reiterate a buy on ChargePoint six days ago. This is right as earnings released. And I believe he was one person that asked a question in the Q&A for ChargePoint, but I do have to dig that up. And I did want to go to this analyst page and show you that he's the cream of the crop. He's the top 10. He's in number 10 out of 8,372 Wall Street analysts, and he's number 30 out of 31,863 experts. But one thing to be aware of right off the bat is he has been completely wrong with ChargePoint so far. Zero of six of his ratings have been profitable on ChargePoint, and he may have simply just not seen this bear market doing as much damage as it has on ChargePoint. I do think in the end he will be correct, and I do believe that by next year, around the same time, around March, we could see charge point in the 20s very, very easily in my opinion. And bear markets don't last forever despite the fact that it feels like it is. Now I did want to pull up the chart for you guys and show you that we did break what looked like the start of a nice upward channel. And it looks like it's trying to establish support right around $10. Now keep in mind that this company's low was right around the $8 range and it did retest its May 11 low. It went slightly under it, but I'd say that's a test of the low and it bounced off of that point. So despite dropping by about 30 cents under its May 11 low, I'd say that this new low and the May 11 low is still a very important support zone. If we do get a surprise by the Fed, more rate hikes than anticipated, higher rate hikes than anticipated, I think it still personally lies on CPI that we're gonna get in just a couple days here. Although the probability of a 50 basis point hike is higher now after this Fed meeting we just had. I do think the Fed is simply waiting for CPI and these expectations of 50 basis point, 25 basis point are kind of irrelevant for now until we actually get our CPI. But I did wanna show you something regarding their earnings. And next earnings that's coming up, we're actually expecting a decline in revenue for one of the first times in this company. They did cite that supply problems were still a concern here. And despite seeing potentially a drop in revenue quarter over quarter, I am extremely confident that we will still see a raise in revenue year over year and them tightening up their losses and getting closer towards profitability perhaps seeing profitability by the tail end of 2023, but I wouldn't personally be surprised to see profitability until sometime in 2024. Now I'm not gonna go over this article here, but I'm gonna show you that over time, we are gonna get more and more adoption, more and more partnerships with ChargePoint and some of these EV manufacturers, just like we saw here with Fisker. And there's also battery storage companies, things like that, that are gonna partner up with the ChargePoint, just like we saw with STEM. And I do believe these partnerships over time will continue to benefit ChargePoint and continue to give them that brand recognition. But what do you think about ChargePoint? Do you agree that it's drastically undervalued? Do you think that this is gonna be a winning stock over the coming years? Or do you think we're heading lower, heading towards our May 11 lows right around $8? The macro economy is definitely uncertain and we could still see more pain in the short term, but over the long term, I do expect a lot of success with ChargePoint. Let's face it, they're in a massively growing industry and as more and more EVs go on the road, 
they're gonna look for charging solutions. Some of these will be Tesla chargers, some of these will be EVGOs, some of these will be Electrify Americas, and yes, some of these will be ChargePoint. And despite the competition, the pie will get larger and everyone will get a chunk of it. But thanks as always for watching guys, let me know what you think about ChargePoint below, enjoy the rest of your day, and take it easy.